My brutal Bratskis, are you ready for yet another video in the video series showing off the best upcoming boomer shooters that is bound to drop in 2024. Today we got no other game than Relentless Frontier is one that is very close to the heart. I absolutely love this game to bits and I was lucky enough to have the pleasure of playing through a good chunk of it already. Not in its finished final state and yet it managed to get me beyond hyped because holy meatballs this game is so good. If you're interested in checking out a good chunk of it go check out my live stream of me playing it. It features some never before foreseen levels that are mighty, mighty impressive. I'll leave the link in the pinned comment. Now why do I love this one so much? Well, first of all, it looks freaking gorgeous. It's loaded with love letters to similar modern games. It has guns that are so freaking badass that I get excited just writing about them in the script. Oh, and they are also upgradable. It features levels that offers a ton of variety to them, both in terms of environments, but also in pace. It has you running from swarms of enemies, solving puzzles, finding keys, and fighting off a massive amount of enemies in arena like areas it just nails the boomer shooter formula so freakishly well and truly manages to stick out with its visuals and gameplay oh and by the way keep a lookout for my pixely face in the game because fat boy slims is a real thing in this one all right my beautiful friends welcome to relentless frontier the game that will feature a hot dog stand called fat boy slims that's me Ah, it's so cool, it's so cool. I can't wait to see it in the early access release. But for now, we got a demo. The thing is, I got some access to some never before seen levels that are, that are not available in the demo. If you want to see those, you will have to go to my stream of this game because I streamed them and it's uncut. For today, however, I just want to showcase a bit of the game, talk a bit about it, share my opinions on it. So let's jump into it. Look at that box destruction. Look at that box destruction. It is so goddamn freaking satisfying. Oh. Now, it isn't really worth destroying all the boxes. I mean, you will see when there is an ammo crate or something else in it. Like this one, regular box won't have anything in it. But it's still also oh satisfying <laughs> destroying them. So, the level that we are playing right now is E1M2. Why? Well, because it is a good level that showcases quite a lot of the game without really spoiling anything of what's to come. That's not how you do that. That's how you do that. Head crabs. Like you have never seen the head crabs before. They are freaking gorgeous. Everything about this game is gorgeous. The pixel art is... Oh, it's chef's kiss. The sprites are just freaking beautiful. Beautiful, I tell you. They have fairly many dimensions to them. I don't know exactly how many they have, but they are so beautifully animated. You will see more of it very soon. Now, before we continue, I want you to know that I am cheating a little bit here. Because I want to show off the true greatness of this game. So, as an example, I have unlocked all the upgrades for the weapons. So, this one, we can do this with. You cannot do that from the start, but we can do it today. Now let's continue. They do hurt. They do hurt the little headcrabs. Now those things right there, you want to destroy them because those are the OF that you can see down in the bottom. And if I press Z, X or C, that means that I can use those and refill my armor. Boom, I just got 10 armor. Boom, just got 10 more. If I press C, I refill my ammo. If I press Z, I refill my health, which is a really, really cool mechanic. And I really, really dig that. It has saved me a bunch of time times playing this game. And that said, the game is loaded with different innovative mechanics like that. That really makes the game super super interesting like you will see different enemies with different mechanics to them that requires you to do certain things to actually take them down the game is very clear with what you have to do so it won't be super hard figuring it out or anything like that but it still pushes you to play in a way that you might not be used to playing which is super cool and makes it feel super fresh okay so now i just want to do a double jump not the best place to do it. Still works. Still works. 
this pistol does not fire in a burst mode if you haven't upgraded it. But how freaking amazing wasn't that burst fire? It's f oh, it's so good. Okay, come to Papa. I can hear the head crabs. I don't know if they can jump up here, but maybe we got one of them. Okay, look at this. Look at this now. So beautiful. <gasps> The slam just makes you feel powerful. And the thing is, the further up in the air that you are, once you do the slam, the more powerful the slam becomes. And it changes color and stuff like that, which just makes it so freaking cool. I love it. And we got double jump, we got dash, we got absolutely everything in this game. And we got some innovative mechanics in it. Like the refilling health, ammo, armor, and more that I'm about to show you. And I mean, the upgrades on the weapons. Look at the alternative fire now. Look at this. How beautiful of an explosion isn't that? And it sounds, just sounds so powerful. You're even getting pushed back as you fire it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is B-A- beautiful. Oh, I love this game. I love this game. Oh, we just accidentally found a secret. Can I actually continue down here? I don't know. Okay. Okay, okay. Look at this enemy mechanic. So the big guy right there. You can only fire him, fire at him when he charges. If you fire at him when he charges with the shotgun, that will break his shield, just like we did there. Okay, I'm about to die now. This turned crazy. Give me some health. Zed, Zed, X, X, Zed. Okay, now we're back. Let me do this. Oh, that's cool. Okay, charge at me, bros. Charge at me, bros. This guy's armor is already broken, so we can kill him. He's dead. Charge at me. We broke his armor. That also works. That also works for breaking armors. Oh, we missed him. is no more now there are more weapons in the game but i actually do not want to spoil them since i have them upgraded for you i'm gonna let you experience them by yourself they are good they are very good oh this is this is just too satisfying and are you seeing the amount of enemies on screen at once it's absolutely nuts and i'll let you know that i am running a stable 160 frames locked 160 frames non-stop i am not having a single hiccup in performance nothing oh i'm papa and the enemies that you have seen so far 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 from everything in the game far from everything and all of them are super unique in one way or another you won't be seeing your regular soldiers shooting at you in this game. Oh no, oh no. You have a lot of stuff to look forward to. And not only that, the level design is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. The main objective is to find keys or your linear path to cross. That, that is the main objective of the, objective of the game. But the level design is so well done because it constantly changes the pace of the game. It goes from puzzling, exploration, to arena fights like we just had. And running away from monsters in huge dark corridors that are just... Like, it's not just a short little segment that will take you 30 seconds and it's done. It's actually like a full-blown level with, change, with pace changing aspects to it which really, really puts this game so high up on my radar. Like right here, it didn't just throw new enemies at us. There is something that, to change the pace. 
now we got now we just turned atmospheric like crazy this is throughout the whole early access that i played so far i haven't played the full finished version of it but what i played this is this is it you will see tons of different environments tons of different mechanics so this isn't it but this is the base of the game it's absolutely magnificent and not only that the levels they are quite long it takes on average i would say one level takes around 30 minutes to finish the first time you play it and you might get lost here and there 100 percent not saying that the level design is the best in the world there are uh, certain moments where i also got lost but it never really reached the point where i got frustrated where i wanted to stop playing never reached that point uh oh Okay, yeah, these guys can get tricky. Okay, so to sprinkle just a little bit extra love over the game, it is also solo developed by a very awesome dude named Corsodin. I hope I pronounced that right. I've been having a lot of talks with him. He is absolutely awesome. And uh, the music is made by no other than Prime Wall. The guy behind the Dread Templar soundtrack. The guy behind the Ashes 2063 soundtrack. And he is doing a phenomenal job in this game as well. And with that, I hope you got a decent feeling for the game. And I hope that this video made you excited for it. Because you need to go and wishlist this right now. And I will see you in the next one. Or these.